So what was your reaction when you um, saw the voting for Defensive Player of the Year? Was it disappointing not being the winner, or was it sort of, hey, your top three defensive players in the league? Um, yeah, it was. It was. I mean, it was. It was what it is. You know, uh, my first full year in the, in the NBA. You know, being um, top three. You know, uh, I guess. And the fact is that you did get more votes than any other center in the NBA. I mean, is there some comfort in that, that at least people look at you as sort of the best shot-blocking big man? Um, I guess. Son, was there a letdown initially and then perspective of, well, top three is pretty good. How would you describe your initial instinct, or, you know, your reaction initially when you saw the results? I mean, I'm not, I'm used to not getting credit for what I do, so, I mean, I'm not surprised. You know, let, um, let one of them guys get 10 plus steals in a game. Y'all would be outraged. Y'all would have the world stop. How far do you think you've come defensively since you joined the Heat? Since um, you know, I just learned the system. You know, it's a hard, it's a hard system to learn, especially for the five man. You know, um, it puts you in a lot of two on one situations. So um, I got a lot better at playing in the, in a Miami Heat system. It's not just by your tone and body language. I mean, no, I'm not, I'm used to, I'm used to getting um, not getting credited for anything. You know, um, I'm kind of used to get, I'm used to getting overlooked. You know, I've been looked over, looked over my whole life. You know, I'm used to being overlooked. And that, does that give you that chip on your shoulder that you've been having? Yeah, it never left. And it was to always be there, you know. Um, I got I got overlooked for All-Star, I got overlooked for this. I, I get overlooked a lot, so I got to look for tryouts. I'm used to being overlooked.